Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 29th, 2023. Well, yesterday, those bulls just kind of struggled getting things going. They weren't able to follow through with that nice surge on uh, Tuesday, and just really was light choppy price action yesterday afternoon, kind of a wait and see type market. Well, this morning ahead of a GDP number and some big economic um, uh, numbers coming out, the futures have a little bit of a push going on and maybe possibly fueled by that Micron report that was a little bit positive um, overnight. So um, what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Marker Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. You know, a couple things before we get started here that I want to um, continue to bring up so that everyone is being very, very aware of the conditions of the market. And number one is we can have some end of quarter window dressing. Now, what does that mean? That means institutions continue to get money into, you know, from 401 play uh plans, state pension plans, things like that. Money continues to come in and what they will often tend to do is put that to work at right at the end of quarters and things like that. And you can sometimes get that push or lift in the market. Um, <coughs> as a result. So in that uh, circumstance, if we were to um, take a look at today, well, we certainly have that possibility that we could see a little bit of bullishness as a result of that with that end of quarter. On the other hand, we have a uncertainty going on with um, second, uh, excuse me, third quarter earnings about two weeks away. The uncertainty of that, the uncertainty of what the Fed is going to do next, and of course a holiday that we will likely see a lot of traders shutting down early to extend their holiday. So few things in there that could make the market a little bit uh, uncertain. Now looking at the charts as you can see here and the diamonds we still have this uncertainty. We're trying to push up here in the pre-market to see whether or not we can push back up through this re um, resistance level in the chart. So if the bulls find that inspiration and can push through this area, first I'd look for a test in here to see if they can. If they can push through here, then we would look for the next level to the upside right in here to see if they could um, uh, once again attack that level. And by the way, that is a very, very big level in the chart. So we're going to need some energy to get up through there. The good news is looking at the current positions right in here, we've got a little bit of a trend. We're still holding this higher low in here, but don't be too surprised if we smack into that resistance and just see a whole lot more rest here in the market just because of the uncertainty of those that next round of earnings reports. If we take a look at our um, SPY, SPY, followed through just barely yesterday, just trying to tick to the upside and that was mostly giant tech companies. Everything else was pretty light and choppy or even going down. But um, the big tech continues to uh, just a handful of companies. If you're in those, you're doing great. If you're not in those, not much is happening here um, in the market. I'm looking for some follow through here today. So if the bulls continue to find inspiration, remember yesterday I was suggesting watch that resistance area right there in the chart. And we struggled with that resistance area yesterday in uh, that, that move. Now that we're pushing through in the pre-market, I would say the next upside target would be to fill that gap right there right up into that area of um, S&P 500. If that fills, then look for a retest of these highs in the chart. If the bears find inspiration, well, then we'd be looking for a retest of this support down here. Let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ also getting that little bit of follow through yesterday and that was just simply because of a handful of tech giants making that move to the upside. The rest of the index was pretty flat Trying to push through in the pre-market, if you remember yesterday, I suggested this area right in here, 
could serve as the resistance of the day. It ended up doing just that, serving as that resistance of the day. And uh, we struggled um, right against that. Now trying to push through here in the pre-market, if we can break through this level up here, well, I'm gonna suggest the next area that we could move to is right up in here to retest these highs once again. Now keeping in mind, we're still away from our trend here. We may be pushing this a little bit too soon, too early. So we do have to be watching for that possibility of a lower high in these indexes. If for some reason we push up in here and are unable to break through to that, uh, that final level up here, then watch for that potential lower high and that potential pullback then to the trend. So watch carefully. Now keeping in mind that if we can push on through, there is that possibility we could run right up there and test that resistance and possibly even break through if the bulls find enough energy here in the market. If the bears were to find energy, well, you can see where we are. Probably pushing back down to test some support in here, pushing down to test support in here, and then maybe even coming back into the trend. Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM also making that move. IWM had the best day yesterday, pushing up, and now we're going to test this resistance to say, see whether or not we're going to be able to push through this this morning. Pre-market, we're making that move to push through. And if we can, if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration, then if you look right up, right in here, there's a little bit of price resistance right in there that we might be looking at, possibly a little bit more right in this area of the chart to be looking at. And then of course, right through into that last test of the high. Now, keeping in mind here also, if we look at this current upside trend, we're moving a little bit ahead of that trend. So we do have to think about the fact that we failed this support if we cannot hold here, watch for that potential of a lower high to, to uh, potentially come in there if those bears find any kind of reason to push. Let's take a look at our VIX. I gotta tell you, the VIX is just the weirdest thing lately with all of the, and this has really happened over the last um, six months to a year. The VIX is really starting to act irrationally. Um, they're gonna have to do something with this um, index here because the rise of the zero to day expiration trading, the high speculation trading that's going on in the market has really changed the dynamics of this. So even as we were struggling here yesterday, our VIX was continuing to fall, showing no fear at all in the market. And we're in this area of complacency um, in the market. So we've gotta be a little bit careful with that. If we take a look at our T, 2122. Well, our T2122 was pushing yesterday up into that bearish reversal area of the market. And that little teeny tiny pullback that we experienced yesterday just relieved a tiny little bit of that pressure. So what that means is if the bulls find inspiration today, they certainly have an upside opportunity if they can push, but just kind of keep in mind that that upside push might be somewhat limited. So watch that carefully and we'll, we'll be reaching that um, overbought condition in the market pretty quickly. If the bears find inspiration, well, we do want to keep in mind, we still have that big downside opportunity if they can get um, something in there to um, start to show their teeth. Let's take a look at our T2108. Our T20, whoops. Our T2108 just hooked over a tiny little bit yesterday, not showing any major pressure here. So percentage of stocks holding above their 40 day moving average, not much change yesterday, about 58, 59% uh, of those stocks. We are stuck between a little bit of a resistance area here in the chart and the support area in the chart. So if the bulls continue to find that inspiration, let's look for a retest up in here, see if we can break through some of these areas. And remember, once we start pushing up here, we start reaching that little bit of overbaked uh, situation in the market where we're reaching that frothy point or overbought point in the market. So watch for those potential whipsaws and reversals if we stretch up there. And if the bears find inspiration, well, we're wedged uh, between this support area in here. So I'd look for a retest down in here, but that really wouldn't hurt us at all in the market. Got a little uptrend going on here. We got that possible downtrending wedge. 
starting to happen in this chart. So we could wind around in here as we wait for the next set of earnings. Let's take a look at our T2107. Very much the same here in T2107. Pretty much a flat day by the end of the day. Uh, 48, 49% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. Once again, very similar situation where we're kind of stuck between some resistance and a support level. You got to give this to the bulls there though. They're holding up really, really well. We do run that possibility that we could be setting a lower high in here, but same time higher lows. Again, a little bit of that wedging pattern, which could signify we could enter a, a bit of a choppy um, area of the market here soon, waiting on the next uh, round of earnings. Let's take a look at our T2101. T2101 didn't change at all yesterday. That momentum shift um, continuing to move to the downside. So we have that absolute market breadth continuing to fall here yesterday. And that was just that really light choppy volume. Now there is a possibility, even with the with the window dressing and the, the data points and things out today, we could see a little bit of volatility in the morning and then really start to see that volume decline and have choppy, um, you know, markets where volume is really, really low because traders are likely starting to shut down and head out for, to extend their holiday plans. So kind of think about that possibility. We could start lighten, lightening up here in the volume once we get through some of the data points during the day. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And we do have a few things that we'll want to be paying attention to. Um, I've been talking about them. We first off, we're gonna, we got our GDP number. Right now, consensus is suggesting our GDP ticked slightly higher. So watch that closely. Remember, as GDP moves up, if it gets too hot, that's going to be something that the Fed doesn't like at all. So um, uh, pay attention to that. Um, that could, it's one of those things where good news could be bad news. If it comes in lighter than expected, well, that might be just the opposite. If it comes in lighter than expected, that bad news might be good news for the bulls. If we um, take a look then, we've got our jobless claims, both of these coming out before the bell this morning. So we can see a little bit of volatility around that pre-market and the opening. So watch that closely. We've got corporate profits, pending home sales, natural gas, and then some bond auctions. And later on today, the Fed balance sheet, which probably nobody is going to be paying attention to because everybody, once we kind of get through these data points this morning, is really going to be focused in on what is this core PCE number. This is the Fed's favorite number. Remember last time we saw it tick higher, there are some estimates that it could tick even higher this month with that surge in consumer spending that we're seeing. So watch that carefully. If that inflation number creeps up, that's going to be a problem for us here in the market and we could see um, some ugliness as a result. So, and then we've got the Chicago PMI and consumer sentiment coming in after that, as you plan ahead for Friday, let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar here today. Now our earnings calendar, we do have a few more on that calendar. So I'm going to run through them very quickly here, but uh, what I've put on the notable list for today is AYI, AYI reporting today, GBX. Ooh, nice move in GBX here this morning. Big pop on that earnings report. Um, LNN will be reporting today. MKC reporting today. Nike will be after the bell today. You'll want to be keeping an eye on that. It looks like it's trying to push up into that earnings report. We've got PAYX on the list today. Looks like we got a little pop and drop going on in that in the pre-market. We've got Rite Aid trying to bounce a little bit here this morning. SMPL. And last but not least, SGH will be reporting today. So kind of keep an eye on those earnings reports. Obviously a couple in there, maybe somewhat market moving, but for the most part, not all that exciting for the day. Let's take it, unless you own them, of course. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, and that is leave a brief comment, 
that helps the channel to continue to grow. Clicking those thumbs up buttons also helps. So thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. Re remember, it does take quite a little bit of effort to put these videos out every single day and your support of that effort certainly helps. So thank you for everyone who does take the time. I do truly appreciate it. So let's take a look at some stocks that may be setting up in here and things we might want to be watching carefully. One of the first things that um, I want to talk about here this morning is this dollar. The dollar has been kind of ranging around here struggling we're trying to decide is the dollar going to strengthen or is it going to weaken you can see yesterday it popped up pretty good and left a bit of a shooting star in there kind of flat on the morning today and one of the reasons we're struggling around in here is we continue to struggle pretty substantially in our bond yields. Our 210 inversion is nearly 100 basis points. Although it relaxed just a little teeny tiny bit yesterday, we remained in a very strong inversion, which suggests recession is on the way and we'll want to be keeping an eye on that. Now, if the dollar strengthens, it would be an odd thing normally to see energy moving to the upside. Oops. But that's exactly what happened yesterday. We saw a major decline in supplies, um, oil supplies yesterday, and that created this nice little surge here in energy stocks. So we're holding these support levels in these areas, getting that little bit of a push. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say this is a buy point. It's a little too much speculation here for me to want to buy this right into a price resistance area. But if this were to hold some kind of a higher low, give me some proof that we, after we surge back up that we're actually going to hold, then I'm gonna be interested in that chart. Now, if you look at several of things out there, take a look at like Halliburton. Halliburton's really close to that resistance, trying to break through. So if we could break through this up in here and hold, then we may uh, begin that upside trend here in the chart. You can kind of see ConocoPhillips made a nice move yesterday, trying to move up here, trying to test that resistance and downtrend. Get up there and hold, then I'll have some interest. So keep an eye on those. Also keep an eye on natural gas. Now natural gas has been surging here the last few days, but excuse me, not the last few days, the last few days we've pulled back, but um, surging up here in the market, trying to build this base, this bottom. And I'm holding a position in here um, on this trade. So uh, have a little bit of bias, but watch this closely. If we can hold this price support area down in here and see those energy prices come back around, well, there may be something in there to, to pick up. And I've done this trade uh, before, the last time I made a really big uh, profit on a trade, catching that downtrend break right in here, picking it up in this point and then carrying that to the upside. Good, good trades when those things occur. So watch these, this base being built in here. There may be some opportunities coming. Take a look at some of the commodity prices. Um, U.S. Steel holding in there pretty well, despite the fact that the dollar increased yesterday. Nice little move here in U.S. Steel. I like this fact that it may be resting right in here. Let's watch for that next engagement here along the trend. See if we can carry that to the upside. And you can see that in other steel companies as well, um, trying to make those moves to the upside. So keep an eye on some of those um, commodity sectors out there on the market. Take a look at wheat. Now wheat, wow, just surged to the upside in a really, really big way. And then whipsawing all the way back down. Now remember, we've got Vladimir Putin talking about the possibility that he may not allow wheat to flow out of the Ukraine. And that would typically create um, some upside here in that chart. This big whipsaw makes it very, very difficult to to trade right now but let's watch and see if it holds a higher low notice we've got a little bit of a trend right in here if we can hold a higher low in here we may still have some upside here in wheat so keep a close eye on that take a look at some of the pay systems out there if we're going to be bullish in the market we need consumers out there spending and the pay systems are going to be very very important PayPal, of course, very nice looking chart in here, as you can see, trying to hold some price support. I'd be looking for that next opportunity. As a matter of fact, I have my price alert here, but I think what I'll probably be doing is moving that price alert down in this chart, maybe somewhere in this area, 
just watching and waiting for that to potentially pop and maybe creating an entry into the position. And then there's plenty of upside up here through into that next resistance level into PayPal. Take a look at stocks like SQ. SQ also trying to come up again. Another pay system, Visa, trying to hang in here, still trying to break through that resistance in the chart. So keep an eye on some of those. We're certainly going to need the consumer to continue to spend if we're going to be pushing through those price levels. Take a look at Costco. Costco made a move here. There was a price alert in the chart, made a move, continuing to hold strong despite that little bit of selling yesterday. We're holding up really well, and it looks like we're going to try and challenge some of these upper areas of resistance. Keep an eye on some of these retail stocks. They're trying to push back up here in the market. Could be interesting. DLTR, I noticed yesterday, big strong move to the upside here, breaking into this gap. We rested right here on the support area. So keep an eye on this. If it can maintain this trend to the upside, little rest or pullback would not be out of the question, but then looking for that potential gap fill if we can maintain this bullishness. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Remember, we could see some volatile price action here this morning, but don't rule out the possibility that we could see some window dressing to help that out and keep us moving, or even that light choppy volume as traders kind of start to wind down and think about what comes next into the third quarter as we approach those earnings. Everyone take care, be safe, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Wish you all the best.